What is ion amplicity chemistry and how does it work? Let's find out what this newer technology can do for you. Next generation sequencing is now producing more sequence faster than anyone had ever envisioned just 10 years ago, making it now possible to sequence a genome in days rather than months or even years. However, for many applications, this large amount of data becomes overkill, creating processing and informatics headaches, and adds additional costs with little to no benefit. Rather, for many of the more standard questions being asked in the lab, a focused approach or targeted sequencing method that zeroes in on a specific genomic region of interest can result in significant savings in terms of time, effort, and money. And perhaps most importantly, it can speed up getting to that answer you're looking for. So what is targeted sequencing, and how does ion amplicity chemistry fit into that picture? Simply put, using current genomic knowledge, a targeted sequencing approach introduces a sequence enrichment step focusing in on genes or even genetic variants of interest. A good example might be the targeting of oncogenes and tumor suppressors in a cancer research study. Early approaches using hybridization-based techniques enable specific regions to be pulled out of the genome. However, these methods were limited on their specificity, resulting in representation of regions of no interest. Additionally, relatively large amounts of starting genomic DNA were required for these traditional hive methods. Leveraging over 10 years in PCR assay design and pre-amplification methods developed by our Applied Biosystem colleagues, Ion Amplicity targeted enrichment offers a vast improvement over these early approaches, delivering a unique, highly multiplexed PCR-based workflow with clear specificity and uniformity benefits. Additionally, extremely low DNA input amounts can be amplified through the PCR process, as low as 10 nanograms. So what is the Ion AmpliSeq approach, and how does it work, and what makes it so remarkable? Well, let's take a look at our lab book. At its most basic level, an ion amplicity panel consists of a pool of oligonucleotide primer pairs, each pair designed to amplify a specific genomic region. Unique to this approach is the ability to multiplex up to 24,000 primer pairs in a single PCR reaction. Following simple PCR amplification of the selected genomic regions, remaining primers are digested and a library containing the remaining amplicons is prepared for sequencing. It is worth mentioning two key implications to how the design of an ion amplicity panel is approached. First, a panel can be designed to interrogate all bases across a gene, or can be focused on specific mutation hotspots. Since a gene design relies on the tiling of overlapping amplicons across the sequence of interest, the consequence is that overlapping primer pairs must be separated into independent PCR reactions. As a result, this approach will require two separate PCR multiplex reactions per sample to achieve full coverage. In contrast, a mutation hotspot design typically results in non-overlapping amplicons whose primers can be accommodated in a single multiplex reaction. Lastly, consideration of the sample source is important to final design performance. Shorter amplicons with a maximum length of 175 base pairs works best with degraded sample sources such as FFPE, but come with a trade-off of coverage within a design. Now you may be thinking, all right, this is all very interesting, but I still don't know how to create a design. Well, never fear, because Ion Torrent offers a variety of pre-designed panels designed with input from the experts in the field. And if none of these panels meet your needs, custom design is made super easy using our online AmpliSeq designer tool. Now that you know a little bit about what Ion Amplicity targeted sequencing has to offer and how it works, feel free to play with our design tool. After all, it is completely free to try. I hope this video was helpful on explaining the Ion Amplicity chemistry, and I'm sure you have more questions. So submit your questions at thermofisher.com forward slash ask, and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. And remember, when in doubt, just seek it out.